Hello, and welcome to Organ Miniatures, a weekly video series aimed at demystifying the organ. I'm your host, Rob Lubinsky. Let's begin. The pipe organ is the most unique instrument in the world because unlike the piano, violin, trumpet, or any other orchestral instrument, there is no one standard way to make an organ which ultimately means that no two organs are the same. Fortunately, the components that go into the King of Instruments have many similarities across all organs, which means that everything that we cover in these videos will apply to any instrument you may see or hear. As we go along, I will do my best to indicate things that vary from instrument to instrument. The pipe organ is the largest instrument in the world, and while it is made of thousands of smaller parts, the instrument as a whole can be broken down into three main components the bellows, the pipe chambers, and the console. Let's take a little tour. Simply put, the bellows supply the air that the organ needs. You could say that a pipe organ would be all out of love without air supply. Sorry, really bad 80s reference, I know. Early organs, those built before the invention of electricity, needed one to two people to pump huge bellows that supplied all the wind that the instrument would need. Nowadays, we have huge electric fans to do the work for us, which is what you're looking at right here. I realize it's not much to look at. Now, let's head upstairs to the pipe chambers. The chambers on the organ are where all the sound comes from. It's rooms like this one that contain all the pipes, bells, whistles, and the mechanisms that make everything work. We'll get into the specifics of that later. Pipe organs can have anywhere from two chambers on up. This room that I'm in right now is one of three chambers on this organ. The largest organ in the world, the Boardwalk Hall Auditorium Organ in Atlantic City, New Jersey, contains eight chambers that are at least the size of this room, if not larger. Now let's head back downstairs to the console. stop, that's a pun you'll get in a few weeks, on our whirlwind tour of the organ is the console. The console is where organists choose the sound that they want, adjust the volume, and play the notes. Now, I realize this still seems very complicated, but as we begin to break down the individual components of the instrument, things will start to make more sense. So that's all for this week's organ miniature. Next week, we'll take a look at the pipes themselves. In the meantime, if you have any questions about anything you've seen here today, please feel free to ask in the comments, and I will reply as quickly as I can. See you next week.